In today's section, we will go over the elements that make a passage complex or of higher difficulty. Welcome to another video presented by The Learning Depot. What makes a text easy or difficult? Three components contribute to text complexity. Qualitative components such as levels of meaning or purpose, language conventionality and clarity, knowledge demands, or structure. There is also a quantitative component, meaning word length or frequency, sentence length, and text cohesion. And probably one of the most important contributors to text complexity is the reader itself and the task, such as reader motivation and knowledge and experiences leading to background knowledge and the task purpose and complexity and the questions posed. Simple texts have a single level of meaning. It has simple linear structure, like in a narrative, clear literal language, contemporary language that's easy to access, simple or single themes, single perspective or point of view, and common knowledge. Complex texts have multiple levels of meaning. There could be satire, irony, metaphor, sophisticated structure, like the use of flashbacks and foreshadowing, it may use figurative, ironic, ambiguous language, archaic or unfamiliar language, complex or multiple themes, multiple perspectives or points of view, and culture or content-specific knowledge. Let's look at the knowledge demands of easy text. In easy text, the passage assumes little or no prior familiarity with the topic. References to other texts and sources of evidence are clearly signaled and easily grasped. Now let's look at knowledge demands of difficult text. The passage assumes prior knowledge or familiarity on the topic. The passage makes numerous references to other texts, historical figures, events, and documents. Language conventionality and clarity also plays a part in making a text easy or difficult. In easy text, the sentence structure is simple. For example, a simple sentence has one independent clause, meaning a subject and a verb, like the example given, I live in San Francisco, simple subject and verb construction. The passage uses familiar vocabulary and simple sentence structures. The author's tone may be informal and appear more accessible. The language conventionality and clarity of difficult text is complex as can be seen in pattern one, where you have a compound complex sentence example, independent clause plus a coordinating conjunction plus a complex sentence. He loves parties, but he won't go to prom because he is sick. Let's look at example two, where you have a subordinating conjunction, a dependent clause, and an independent clause. Since he passed his English exam, Juan has been very happy. The passage uses elevated diction and common sentence structure and unfamiliar language. In easy text, the purpose of the passage is straightforward. The purpose of difficult text may be more abstract. The structure of easy text is also relatively simple. Paragraphs are generally introduced by topic sentences, focus on a single main idea, and use supporting details clearly related to the main idea. The structure of difficult text may be fairly loose and may not follow a clearly defined main idea. On the SAT, you will encounter a variety of passages that range from easy to difficult. The passages range from ninth grade to college reading levels. Remember that within a passage, there may be sections that range from easy to difficult. Your task is to know when to focus on a section or quickly skim through it and not spend too much time on it. We will discuss this as the course progresses. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you real soon.